So my name is Sandra Eldridge. I'm the lead of the included research study of which this focus group is part. Thank you very much for coming to the focus group today. And before we start, we want to tell you a little bit about why we're doing this research and what will happen to the results. So in the past, some research has been harmful, sometimes been harmful, to some ethnic groups. So for example, in 1932, in the Tuskegee study, some um, researchers didn't tell the African-American men who were part of that study about the treatment for syphilis. As a result, they didn't receive the treatment that they needed, and some of those men died needlessly. Thankfully, the Tuskegee study um, is now uh, historic and wouldn't be allowed to happen again. Um, also, it's well recognised in research now that we need inclusivity and we need fairness in all our research. But we wanted to acknowledge the harm um, that there has been in past research and the legacy of that in order to be open with you as we start this study. We are working together with people from different communities across the UK to try to make research better for everyone, especially for those who have been poorly served by research in the past. You are here today because we want to hear your thoughts and opinions on how we can make it better for you and your community. One way we can improve is by looking at how we record data on ethnicity in research projects. Some projects don't collect this data. Different projects record it differently. And some participants don't feel comfortable with the questions that they are asked about their ethnicity. Or it is not clear why these questions are being asked. This means that sometimes we don't know who was included in a research project because the data on ethnicity is not always clear. But why do we need these data. Now, some diseases affect people from some ethnic groups more or more severely than from other ethnic groups. So if we think, for example, of COVID-19, then we know that some ethnic groups were affected more severely or more often than other ethnic groups. And there are a variety of reasons behind this. So it might be about where people live, it might be about social and cultural differences. It might be about structural problems, including outright racism, or it might be about a difference in the way healthcare has been accessed or used or delivered because of language or confidence barriers. Now, when we are trying to find treatments to improve health or prevent illness in the first place, the first thing we need to find out is whether that potential treatment actually works and how treatments work and for whom varies and it can vary between ethnic groups so therefore it's important that we think about that and one way in which there can be a difference is in the acceptability of the treatment or the way that treatment is delivered so if we don't include a wide range of ethnic groups, individuals from different ethnic groups who could benefit from the treatment in our trials, then we're unable to say whether this treatment is the right treatment for all of the individuals who could potentially benefit. It might lead us to a situation where we think we have a very effective treatment for everyone when actually it's an effective treatment for just some in our communities, but not all. It's important then that we start to think about recording information about ethnicity in our trials so that we can draw conclusions about for whom does this treatment really work. Now we also know of course that some people from some ethnic groups feel uncomfortable about taking part in research and given the sorts of things that the research community has in the past done with regard to research in ethnic minority individuals, that hesitation is not surprising. But we do, as a research community, need to try and understand more about the difference in treatment effects on different ethnic groups. And that really does need us to collect information data on the ethnic groups involved in our trials so that we know for whom our treatment 
has some offer of benefit? Is it for the whole community or just for some in our community? We want, in short, to make sure that health research benefits everybody who could gain potentially benefit from that treatment. And that really does need us to think more about who is in our trials and to record information about the ethnicity of individuals in our trials. So today we want to ask you some questions on your thoughts about research and particularly on collecting ethnicity data in clinical trials. We're going to record the focus group and then a team of researchers and community members will have a look at the data and you will not be able to be identified from the data. We will anonymise the data so that that's not possible. We will then together produce some guidance for researchers on whether they should collect ethnicity data and if so, how to do that in a way that makes sense for all communities. We will look at producing messages on social media and radio to explain to public members why it is important to collect ethnicity data in clinical trials. We also intend to present our results at conferences, publish in journals uh, that are read or attended by researchers working in the field and we want to do that because we want to, to raise awareness and try and improve the way that researchers generally think about inclusion in trials and recording ethnicity data.